Hi, this is Yari Salminen from Vodafone. I lead a global business development team and I'll be talking about energy data management. Practically all of our customers today are faced with already high and rising energy costs. In addition, the increasing regulatory requirements because of the environmental concerns are putting a lot of pressure into the companies and they, most of them feel that there's very little that they can do. And this is where energy data management comes in. Vodafone also is a, as a large multinational customer you know, we're facing with the same problems and challenges on energy consumption. So it, uh, it really comes to no surprise that we're using this technology ourselves. So let's have a look at what we're doing with this. So here on the screen you can see live data from our Newbury headquarters in the UK. So what we see here on the screen is energy consumption data including electricity, gas and water updated every 15 minutes. So we're really getting a real-time view on how the energy is being consumed. We're also seeing whether the energy efficiency is, is, is very good, mediocre or even poor and we can react to that in more or less real time. In addition to the energy consumption data, we're also monitoring the number of people that are in the different buildings, so the occupancy rate. So here you can see the, the real number of people in, in our Faraday house in Newbury campus. And this again information is updated every, every 15 minutes and it's based on detecting people's mobile phones in these buildings and in the areas. So that is another again another unique data that we can combine with the energy consumption information. One of the main differences of energy data management today and, and traditional smart metering or even reading uh, energy consumption data out of the meters manually is that we get a level of granularity, level of detail that we haven't had before. As I mentioned earlier, the information is collected and updated every 15 minutes. So here you can see on the screen again some of that detailed information that will enable us to de develop that level of insight that can really help us to change the way we buy and use energy. So how is Vodafone using the data? How are customers can use this data to really change and drive improvements? So first of all, what you can go from is from estimated billing to accurate billing and this will have a positive cash flow impact in, in many cases. The other thing is by really understanding where you're using energy, you can start to really make changes in the way you operate that will end up re you know, reducing your overall energy consumption as much as up to 40%. So this is a huge benefit for our customers. It also enables us to, to meet and comply with regulatory requirements and also reduce our carbon tax. So companies could expect savings on carbon tax up to 20-25%. Another huge benefit uh, from the solution. So this is what Waterphone is doing today on energy data management and we think there's a huge opportunity across all industries in deploying this technology. Thank you.